When we return, one mother's remarkable 26-year vigil for her comatose daughter. Why, she says, she is never going to give up hope. We'll be back to see that. Our guests today have remarkably survived unimaginable tribulations. We take you now to the story of a mother who's been holding vigil for her comatose daughter for 26 years and refuses to give up hope that she might someday wake up. The world of Kay Obera is built on angels and miracles and faith. Bless you, I love you. Good morning. Hey, wake up. The faith that her daughter, Edwarda, will wake up from a coma that has lasted over 26 years. We have all day, we have all the time in the world, just me and you. Yeah, I love you. I love you very much. It was Christmas of 1969 when Edwarda whispered her last words. She begged her mother to never leave her, then slipped away into a deep, diabetic coma. Since then, Kay has almost never left her side. She's never going to be without me. She's going to be better before I die. Kay's life was shaped by the patterns of Ed Warder's needs. There is the medicine, the hair you know? braiding, uh -huh. the feeding, okay. once every two hours, 24 hours a day. Each moment of every day, Kay is hoping that the sounds Ed Warder makes will form themselves into words. Come on, get the word out. Get the word out. Uh. You can do it. Well, I feel the word is stuck there, and she just... God isn't ready. Oh, God isn't ready to let her get it out. It might seem like a solitary life, but in fact, each day harvests a new crop of friends. Today, the local priest gives Edwarda a blessing. Later, Kay's neighbor drops by to check in. Good morning. I'm sorry I don't have the baby today. Yesterday I brought the baby. People come from all over the country to visit. Among them, author Wayne Dyer, who once wrote a book about miracles. Hello, beautiful lady. What she conveys to me is that she is a spirit, a divine, infinite spirit that is just, and this body is not who she is at all. And she's able to convey that to us and teach us that. And this, there's a great, great lesson for all of us in this. The costs of keeping at water at home have plunged Kay deeply into debt. Sometimes she prays for the dollars it takes to buy at water's baby food. But despite all the hardship, her courage has never faltered. I think because I'm strong enough to take it. I've never asked God why. I've never said to the doctors why. I never even said why when I had my heart attack why. I'll be honest, I'm glad it happened to me and not to someone that couldn't take it. Doctors say there is little hope for recovery, but Kay holds fast to her faith in Edwarda and in miracles. She knows what I'm saying. I mean, she can fool some people, but she's never going to fool me. And she will wake up. Kay and Edwater, our prayers are with you. We'll be right back.